What's up, everybody? It's Tito Override, and I'm ready to bring the pain for you and Dr. Rota this week. Are you ready for the Ultra Contrarian Show? Week one NFL. The world's, the world's best DFS lineup last year were on this show. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to duplicate that again because that greatness was I just, I can't even explain it. It was just something I hit a great stride in all of my cash game lineups that I gave out last year hit. And you know what? I do take edges of those, all those lineups, all the way up from week one to the Super Bowl, only having like four or five of those hit and maybe like four or five on FanDuel and then maybe like three or four on DraftKings. When you take all those weeks and you think about how much money you could have won, Here's the other point. Outside of that, there was four or five weeks, I got to say, I I definitely know four weeks that I had nuclear lineups with this. And I'm talking top 1% lineups that were almost taking slates down and losing slates by a few, a point or a half a point, literally over 200 points. And that's what we do. That's what I strive for with the ultra contrarian lineup. I used to not be a full lineup, but I'm going to say it with my chest and bring the pain because that's what I do. Let's get to it because I know you're here for the ultra contrarian lineup. So let's go. Oh, yeah. Right? Quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Look, I'm all in on Baker. They're literally going to stomp, 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 Yana, stomp the bottom right. Yeah, they're going to roll right through Washington. There ain't nothing left on Washington's defense. Nothing left. Like with Sean White, if you were overlooking with Sean White, I don't know what to do. But he is not in my lineups. But maybe he is in my lineup. Guess you'll have to wait to the end of the show when you get my ultra contrarian lineups for both sites, both FanDuel and DraftKings. Let's get to it. Baker Mayfield is is 5,600 on DraftKings, 7,200 on FanDuel. Now on DraftKings, he's a steal. But on FanDuel, he's a little more expensive. I mean, Stafford's 73, and then you have Goff at 74, 75. So you're right there. When I get to my lineups, I'll I'll explain what I was thinking and little things. Normally, when I do the ultra contrarian lineup, it's usually the same lineup on both sites, and I could get that. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this one. So the FanDuel lineup is going to be a little different than this week than the DraftKings lineup. And this is more so what I'm giving you right now is the DraftKings lineup. John... Jonathan Taylor, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to deny it. it you know, 7,800 on DraftKings, 8,600 on Fandle. I'll pay up, man. Divisional game, Houston. Houston's got a good, solid defense. But they got a little weak in the middle when they lost Collins, but that's okay. They got a solid defense, but that doesn't mean that Jonathan Taylor ain't going to run through them. And the last time that they played at in Indianapolis in the regular season, the Colts ran 59% of their plays were runs. So, and when they're just in last year at home, the Colts ran about a 49% with runs. So you're looking at a lot of running in this game. And of course, some of that can come from Anthony Richardson. But when you got a back like Jonathan Taylor, I'm not saying he needs 30 carries. Please, let's not wear him out in the leagues that I have him. Man, get that man like 20, 22 Maybe four or five targets out the backfield. Give me three catches. Let's go, Jonathan Taylor. You're one of my favorite players. Yeah. And I ain't even a Colts fan. Another running back. Bam. It's the macho pick of the week. It's Kenneth Walker. I mean, 6,100 on DraftKings. Oh, man. I mean, that's cheap. That's real cheap for a running back that's going to get the ball a lot. 7,400 on FanDuel. Definitely a safe play, but he's going to get that work. And if this game gets out of hand, and he keeps getting it and goes over 100 yards, you're getting the new bonus multipliers on FanDuel with that. You're just going to score points. That's what it's all about. Let's move along. Since this is more of a Tampa Bay stack, I'm just going to run them both. It's Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Both are the next are the rod receivers to start this. Evans, 7,300 on DraftKings, and he is 7,900 on FanDuel. He's around some other people on FanDuel, right? Godwin, 5,800. I mean, 58. 5,800, 5,800 on DraftKings. That is insane, insane for somebody who's who could 
get 10 to 12 targets in this game and catch anywhere from seven to eight, nine balls. Go 80, 90 yards, maybe a touchdown. Maybe he breaks one and goes 160 touchdown with eight catches. I don't even know, but I know that he's going to get the ball and that Baker Mayfield wants to show that he just wasn't a fluke last year. He deserves to be on this team, the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Bucks. As for you, Steve Rich, you listen to this. Yeah. Woo. Anyway, let's get to it. And uh, his fan duel price is 56. It's even, it's even less. He is a steal on FanDuel. Literally a free square on FanDuel. You remember that free square term I talked about last year? Yeah, I give those out a lot, and I make sure I always, always identify them for you. Yeah. Woo. All right. Who's your next receiver he'd override? It's not even Terry McLaren, man. It's the game stack, right? Again, McLaren, 5,600 on DraftKings and 5,400 on FanDuel. Ah. Man, I just know how to find all the talent, the, the, the great talent at that price to get the superstars in. That's what I do, right? So, boom, he's. Uh, let's move it over to Flex. The Flex is going to be Zach Moss. I know y'all hate him. 5,800. I don't care. I'll pay that all day for somebody who's about to trounce the Patriots. And I know Chase Brown's going to trounce as well, too. Heck, this could be one of those games you would want to start Chase Brown and Zach Moss on the same time. You know what? I wouldn't even be scared. I would throw in Mostert, too, because ain't no one playing Mostert. But I will tell you that, man. You stack those guys in this game, they just keep running because they both have something to prove. Again, for Moss, this is like a contract year. So you have to understand that when you're looking at all this and somebody has to play for their spot and they have this super awesome stud running back behind them in Chase Brown, then you know he's got to get up. And he performed last year for the Colts in behind Jonathan Taylor. He stepped aside for Taylor while Taylor was getting back in the groove. He filled in, and he stole a lot of points and carries for me sometimes. I, I was getting salty. But, hey, he's going to help us win some money this tomorrow. And let's move along. Tight end. Tight end. So, Kylan Granson for the Colts. He is 2,900. You know I always love my 2,900, 2,800, $3,000 tight ends on DraftKings, and I'll say Hayden Hurst is on there at 3000 so definitely want to check it. But on, on FanDuel, he is 4700 However, on FanDuel, because FanDuel decided to put in the, the Sunday night game now, and that, that's, that's the full slate, we got to go all day with football now, that's fine. Let's do it like baseball then, right? So Parkinson for the Rams, tight end, same price, same story, same deal. I will pay for that at any moment, man. And uh, Sanders, Sanders for the Carolina Panthers. Now that Thomas has been ruled out, that gives him even more of an open way to the tight end and getting a few catches. Because, you know, if this game most likely going to get out of hand, unless Carolina got something to prove, Bryce Young going to step up and finally show why he was that pick last year. Well, then Bryce Young, you're going to have to pass the ball. You have to pass the Thielen. You got that. But if this game gets into garbage time, you could definitely catch that Sanders is going to get a few of those balls. But however, I, I'm fine with either going with Granson or Parkinson on FanDuel. You can go either way. It's the same price. It's whoever you want. But I kind of like that lay hitter. I'll talk a little bit about that when I get to the over to the FanDuel lineup for the ultra contrarian lineup. All right, defense. I don't care what you say. The Raiders, man. Raiders. They got Collins. I mean, they got they got they got Max Crosby. They got a solid defense. They got Hobbs, man. They have a good team and nobody's picking them. And that's what's gonna really help out the Raiders. Plus, that price, I've always said this for years. You know how I can always tell a good price on a defense? They're 2800 on DraftKings. Just go check my tape, go check the pass, go check the stats, whatever you want to do. I ain't stack guy. I'm just a notice and remember it guy. Yeah. Woo. All right. When you go over to FanDuel, though, the Raiders are 3,800. So you also have the Giants at that disposal on FanDuel, which is a little cheaper. And that does help out. You know, they're right there at that same level, same price. So you're good. Right. But I got another defense. The Falcons defense will save you some money that will help with the FanDuel lineup, which way you want to go with that Sunday night game because it's going to have some Sunday night players in it. All right, let's hit it. This is what you're here for. This is you waiting for the ultra contrarian lineups. 
This is your DraftKings lineup. Mayfield, Walker, Taylor, McLaren, Evans, Godwin, Granson, Moss, Raiders defense. Dang, let's cash, right? FanDuel, let's get wild. Mayfield, Walker, Taylor, Evans, Godwin, Cooper Cup, Parkinson, Rashad White, and the Raiders defense. Now, let me tell you something. You take that deep. You got $100 left over on this lineup, right? So you can come off of Rashad White, right? And you can move up to Kyron Williams. But, man, if you're going to go to Kyron Williams, then you're going to need to come off that defense, go to Atlanta's defense, which right now, if Russell Wilson ain't going to play, Justin Field comes in. Now, he can run the ball, but that will free up $300 more, and that will get you not only Jared Goff, but will also get you Matt Stafford. Pick and choose what you want to do. So when I take this lineup right here and I talk about it and I think about it, so when I say cup and you got Godwin and you got Evans and you got those players, so you can either you can sub out Mayfield and Rashad White in the Raiders defense with this lineup for the Falcons defense, Kyron Williams and Goff or Matt Stafford. It's whatever way you want. It's whatever stack you want. And you can definitely get some Almond Raw St. Brown in here if you want to move a few more numbers. That's the lineup. That's going to be how we're going to cash this week. Have a great day, everybody. Always remember to bring the pain on the contrarian side of things. Yeah. May the points be with you. Happy football, everybody.